Good evening, I'm Julie O'Neill. Tonight we start with a case of vandalism. Withrow High School students and parents came to see symbols of hate spray painted on the walls of the school. Not on your side's Roseanne Aragon spoke with parents and local leaders about what is being done. Roseanne? I'm here at the school and crews really worked quickly to get rid of it. If you could see right next to the Withrow sign, that's where a swastika was painted. As you can see, you can't see it now. Again, they worked very quickly. This is one of several swastikas and derogatory language painted on several parts of the building and sidewalk. Now they're hoping to find out who did it. On buildings and sidewalks and signs. It's just heartbreaking for me right now. While symbols of hate start coming down here at Withrow, it's a mark these parents can't erase. It is disgusting that they would deface a school like this, where I think our school starts at seventh grade. So you have seventh graders walking in. And again, it's not what they, we see things like this all over the internet. It is the intent and knowing that it's right here. Cincinnati public school officials say late Saturday night vandals mark school property with swastikas and derogatory language. It's too close to home for third generation alum, state rep Alicia Reese. It's unbelievable. Uh, Withrow has always been a school that's located in a neighborhood that had great uh, cooperation, um, great diversity. This is uh, at least the second occurrence that has happened in Cincinnati. I was deeply hurt when I saw it happen to uh, the Hebrew Union College uh, and now Withrow High School and uh, it seems to be a pattern. Symbolism of hate, of racism, of anti-Semitism, of, of bigotry, totally unacceptable. Our police are on the scene gathering evidence. We need to, we need to find out who, who these uh, actors are and throw them in jail. But working towards progress, this community is determined to move ahead. And let's move forward and teach them how to not only acknowledge it, but deal with it effectively, proactively. I, I want to mobilize our community in that we'll carry on with our day-to-day -day activities. We will not be deterred. Now, State Representative Reese says she wants the Attorney General to step in, in the, on the investigation. The school district also says they have surveillance video here, which they're turning into police. They're going to work with them on the investigation. They want parents to know that everything has been cleaned up. Reporting live, Roseanne Aragon, 9 on your side. Thank you, Roseanne. And Cincinnati Public Schools just released a statement saying in part, quote, we are truly saddened by this event and want to assure our students and families that we keep them safe. This unfortunate event is further evidence of our need to heal and grow as a community. Our diversity is an asset and should be celebrated. Cincinnati Public Schools says there will be counselors at the school tomorrow for students who need them.